we will prove the principle of strong induction. So in, that would be for some open sentence PN we will suppose that P1 is true and for some K if PJ is true for all J between 1 and K then PK plus 1 is true is true. That's the statement that is the inductive step of a strong induction type proof. And if those two things are true, then we will conclude that PN is true for every single N in N. Let me continue this box. So it's complete there. Okay, so notice that in particular, the second statement that we're assuming to be true is itself a conditional that has an antecedent and a consequent, right? So it's not that this whole conditional has to be true. So we're going to proceed by contradiction. Oh, the design down here is just saying that there's the blue assumption, here's the green assumption that has an orange implies yellow inside of it, and this is all going to give us the red that something's true for all natural numbers. Okay, we're going to proceed by contradiction. So suppose the blue one first, condition one was that P1 is true. And then further suppose that for a fixed K, we know that if PJ is true for every J between one and K, then we know that we can conclude PK plus one. For the sake of contradiction, we're going to say that PN is not true for all natural numbers. So it's false for some natural numbers. And we're going to let M be the minimal criminal, the least of these values for which it's false. So what can we say about M? Well, for one thing, since we know that P1 is true, we know that what's true about M? M has got to be at least as big as 2 because we know that P1 is true. And so what do we get? It's that M minus 1 must be bigger than or equal to 1. Okay. And since M was the least false witness, witness, we know that P M minus 1 is true. Now if we were in the world of regular induction this would be great because we move to the next step from the previous step but we're not in that world for this proof we're in the world of strong induction so it's wonderful that PM minus 1 is true but we actually know something more M was the least false witness so furthermore we actually know that PJ is true for all J that happen to be located between 1 and all the way up until M minus 1. Not only M minus 1, but all of the preceding natural numbers before M minus 1 all the way down to 1. Notice that that is precisely this statement here. We have that PJ is true for every one, every J between 1 and K, giving us K plus 1. Here we have that PJ is true for every single J between 1 and M minus 1. So what does that mean about the next integer that comes after M minus 1? That means that PM is true. But PM was supposed to be the least value for which p of x was false. So this is a contradiction. And that contradiction proves the principle of strong induction.